Food, energy, and water are three of the foundational resources uh, for human civilization. They have the largest fraction of the footprint that humanity creates on the Earth uh, and implicates the Earth's carrying capacity. They're also critical. Uh, you can't live very long without food, energy, and water. Um, these are really important resources. We have a food, energy, and water economy globally where there's a lot of uh, trade. There's a lot of export, there's a lot of import, and there's a lot of dependencies. So food, energy, and water are really strategic. They're very political. Um, they're very cultural. And they're very important to us. Uh, it's important to understand those connections. What the Fusion Project is doing in the United States right now is it's building a data set that helps us map those connections. So we know who's producing the food, the energy, and the water, who's consuming it, how it's getting there, and then we have the data that we need, the big data, to analyze that system. Once we have that map of the network, we can start to observe and manage and improve things that were always invisible to us. Right? What are all our dependencies? What are our options? How are we affected by distant events? Where does our food come from? How much of it is local? What are all of the connections between the different layers in the system? These are the types of questions that you can answer when you have that entire system put together in one network data set. So when you understand how the whole system works, you can target policies that will grow, for example, food production in places where it's more sustainable and where capacity still exists. We need to understand what resilience means in a connected world. We need to measure it so that we can engineer it and build policies that will keep us safe and uh, help us to be prosperous in this heavily connected world. So measuring the connections and mapping them is going to be very important for community sustainability and resilience in the 21st century. We're doing that in the Fusion Project.